Yo, what up, boys and girls? All right, so uh, this is on the fly, man. Um, Christian Harloff uh, sent me a text like an hour ago, not even, 512, I think it was. Or 5, yeah, he's like, he's like, yo, would you want to be in the Schmodown? Like, and I was like, dude, I think I'm going to get decimated. Like, I can't compete with those guys and stuff. And mind you, I've only watched some Schmodowns, and I didn't know he was only meaning like just Star Wars ones. So, obviously, like, with movies and stuff, I don't know. I don't think I would do too well. My issue in life is that I, I play myself down a lot. Like, I I might be okay at something, but I just, like, I just, <laughs> I'm like, no, I suck. I'm not good. I'm not. Um, but, like, I'll still give it my all and stuff. So, that's that's a trait that I have. So, I went and I started watching the Schmodown because I've never really watched uh, any of these except for the one with Sam Witwer. And I think it was, it was, I think it was four people. It was Sam Witwer and like three other guys. And I was just like, I don't think I would do very well at this. But the Star Wars ones, I don't know, man. I've been watching 31 minutes so far. So I want to watch it with you guys. And I think I would be in the top three. And uh, I told, I told Christian this. I'm like, yo, I'm probably be like behind, behind Sam or now I'm thinking maybe even Campia or, you know, around Jeremy Johns' number. Uh, and he's like, dude, let me know. I'll put you in a live event. So he told me to watch a few more. So I want to watch these with you guys. And uh, I'm not going to get 100%. Maybe I'll get like 70%. But I think it would be fun just to hang out and uh, do this. So let's let's do it, man. What's going on, boys? What's going on? Darth Mop. What up, Lilyvin? What up, Jake? What up, Ashley? What up, Darth Plagueis? Isaiah? Wacky Wampa? Yo, what up, Sazy? What up, my boys? All right. What up, Elseworlds? Yo, I got to get some uh, some some stuff out to you soon, man. Then you can get on with the editing. Um, all right. I've been doing too much of the Rise of Skywalker stuff. But it's it's interesting. All right, let's get on with this. Let's go. And, like, I want you guys to, like, play along with me. So, yeah, I mean, if, if you know the answers to some of these, let's make it like a, like a FNC Schmodown kind of thing. And let's see if, I don't know, if I'm worthy enough, maybe I'll go on the show. I don't know. I don't want to look like a fool, you know? My, my knowledge is so limited. Like, I know a lot about certain movies, certain topics, certain characters, but my broad knowledge is terrible. So, let's, let's go. Screen junkies on Millennial Falcon. Hey, let me, let me just say this. It is hard enough to do a schmodown for your first time in the studio. Yeah. She did a schmodown for the first time in front of 600 people. That's pretty awesome. Oh, 600 people there? What the hell, Jerry really? Johns, it's time to drink your own cool. pee. Are you ready? <laughs> your first category is the Phantom Menace. And for two points, your question is, what caused Obi-Wan and Qui-Gon to ignite their lightsabers on the Trade Federation ship at the beginning of the film? Dioxys gas. They heard their ship explode. You're damn right they didn't. That's yeah, two points. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Not Darth Maul. <laughs> Got that wrong. Fail. Three-way tie for second place, but Jeremy has a chance to advance with this three-point question that comes from the world of creatures. No, 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 no. What did Luke use to bullseye in his T-16 back home? Bump rats. That there weren't all right. any bigger than yeah. two meters. Yes, you did. 22 points. Jeremy Johns is now tied with Sam Whitwer. So now we jump to John Campion. John Campion, <laughs> to administer your questions, will be <laughs> Mr. Memes, Harlow. thanks for the super right, chat. John, hey, man, if you had right. to make a perfect Star Wars movie, what aspects 12, would it have to have? And nine. All right. For category I don't know. I'll 12. get to that. that Revenge of the Sith. The category of A New Hope. It would have to have character arc and uh, <clears throat> story that isn't just fighting um, and isn't just like light side, dark side. There has to be like a story. Of what's going on? Like, I know most movies have that, but <laughs> it's hard to explain. Um, I'd want to have, you know, what does the dark side want from the light side? What does the light side want from the dark side? And basically the prequels, basically all of them, all nine, all nine films. Right? I thought they were executed well i just think some of the character arcs were uh poor what one word did the officer in the death stars detention center use when referring to chewbacca what thing 
Correct for two points. All right, Jeremy. Which movie is this? Is still behind Did we miss it? Johns, though, so he now has to answer his three pointer, which is Doesn't Ken... Napsock go next? What movie are we? You are... I'm ahead in Napsock. Oh, you're ahead in Napsock. Oh, you're absolutely correct. All right, Ken's up. Sorry. Thanks, John. Email. Thanks, John. <laughs> <laughs> All, right. All right, Kenny Boy, your first category comes from the number two, Derek Jeta, number two. Your number two point question is from the world of villains. Speaking of okay. Derek Jeter. Um, oh. <laughs> All right, so next. <laughs> For two points, Ken, in The Force Awakens, what does the riot control stormtrooper say to Finn Traitor. when he confronts him? Traitor! Two, two points, points for Ken Napsack. I'm going to keep going with Ken. We bounce back to John. Back to John. All right, so now we bounce back to John Campio with category number four, which is in the category of Rogue One. Three-pointer. Mm. Cassian tells Jin that Chirrut and Bays used to be what? Guardians, Guardians of, of the, the Temple. That's correct, for three points. All right, so John now. John has now taken the lead. And we now go Whoa, to... Say it again, say it again. You have taken the lead. Take it easy. Same hasn't answered anything. Uh, uh, we've run out of time, everybody. Thank you for coming. <laughs> now we bounce back to Jeremy Johns. What? <laughs> yeah, he's got 21. I thought I was yeah. done. I, I lost I count. The board. Give me a break. <laughs> <laughs> over there. Look at that. All right. We're just one big happy family up here, aren't we? <laughs> Ken, your three-point question comes from a movie called The Force Awakens. Okay. Who physically injures Kylo Ren before he confronts Finn and Rey in the snowy forest? Chewie. Wait, can you say that again? Yeah. Who physically injures Kylo Ren before he confronts Finn and Rey in the snowy forest? Chewbacca. I, I'm not hearing, sorry. I'll use all my repeats. I'm not. Last one. Okay. The JT rule, the okay. famed Last Ecuadorian one. film reviewer. Who physically injures Kylo Ren gotcha. before he confronts Finn and Rey gotcha. in the snowy forest? The, the mighty Chewbacca. Gotcha. Right. Three points. I, uh, I just want to point out, I, I feel your pain because I heard the first time I heard, yeah. who physically enters yeah, Kylo Ren? That's what I thought. <laughs> that's what I heard, too. And, and that's not cool because like, this is a family uh, show. Huh? It's not cool. <laughs> Here, you know what? All right, Not Jeremy Johns, cool. you're going to be physically entered next. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, they got to learn about it sometime. All here's, right. Here's em emotionally, answer. emotionally. Come on, yeah. come on. I love that Ken didn't roll with it. He's like, y you're going to have to repeat yourself. This <laughs> must be wrong. This is Jeremy's, this is Jeremy's five point, right? Jeremy's five pointer. Oh, here we go. Your five pointer in order to stay in the game. Jeremy, okay. your five point question to stay in the game and to keep control of your Star Wars bed sheets. In the category of droids. Droids. In The mm. Phantom Menace, what protocol droid attends to Qui-Gon and Obi-Wan on the Trade Federation ship TC and speaks with a female I, uh, force? Wow. Whoa! <laughs> Five points for John! Nicely done. Damn. Big, big win. That was nice. All right. Well, now, now the Terminator is up. Uh, Sam Witwer is up at category number 11 here. Okay. No way. Who's who's getting the next question? Sam. Oh, Sam. Sam's the, yeah. Sam's the, so Sam, in the category of the Clone Wars. <laughs> Nate. No, it's no. It's two points for Sam. He hasn't answered anything yet. All right. So, name Count Dooku's apprentice in the Clone Wars. Passage Ventress. Two points. The two pointers see are the easier ones. <laughs> All right, so there. Okay, so now we have now. Well, we had a time few. Savage. Whitworth, Campia, and Napsok. We're going to stay with Sam, and we will now give Sam his three-pointer, which is category number three, and that would be the category of the Skywalkers. Yeah. Ray, how did? Uh, <laughs> that's good. It's not Ray. It's Snoke. <laughs> All right, Sam. How did Luke Skywalker address the Emperor when they first met? How did Luke Skywalker address the Emperor when they first met? I mean, what did he say, or how? I mean, how? You're sadly mistaken. You won't convert me as you did my father. Oh that, my God! That that's in, that's your answer. That's incorrect. Oh God! That's incorrect. The answer the answer was oh. the answer was your Highness. He bleeds. Your Highness. 
The Russians cut, what, and it's a bad it? cut. What was the? What was it? Your, Your Highness. Your Highness. Your Highness. Wow. Okay, so Sam Witwer needs to hit this, or he will be eliminated. It is from from the category of who said it in the Empire Strikes Back. Who barked the order? Shields up just before the Falcon buzzed the Star Destroyer's bridge. Um, oh. Is the name of the character? Name of the character. Five, four, three, two, one. I need an answer. Oh, God. Three, oh, the, two. Apology accepted. Nita? Uh, one, t Captain Niet. Yeah, Nita. Sam Captain Nita. has been eliminated. The answer was Captain Nita. Sam I wouldn't have gotten it though if he didn't eliminated. if he didn't say that though. Holy so. crap! Tyson goes down. Tyson goes down. All right, so now it is a what? We have Jeremy Johns here has a chance to win this. If how much can't of a piece and Sam Sam do not hit. Seriously, how much of a beast is Sam Whitworth? The beast. What will be your ideal ending of season seven of the Clone Wars? Uh, Anakin right, so executing Order sixty six in ways we've never seen before. John both have five pointers left. Ken will answer first. Hey theory, it's if been a while. Hits it, then Jeremy will be eliminated. If not, it'll be Gene question. John's would you be down to go no streaking sometime? Ken. Get naked and run outside. Hi, you look great. Ken, you love your bed sheets. Sure. Question yeah. Comes from the category. Of vehicles and weapons. Oh, I suck at vehicles and weapons. What I suck. What Star Destroyer was pursuing Han when the Falcon lost its main rear deflector shield in The Empire Strikes Back? The that Devastator? Yes. Jeremy wow. Johns has yeah. been eliminated! Ken Napsok hits his five-pointer. So now it comes down to John Campia's five-point question. If he hits it, it's sudden death. If he misses it, Ken Napsok is the Star Wars champion. So we could go into a sudden death here, depending on... It was so Ken. easy until I started streaming. These are all questions I, I, I wouldn't know. I'd fail. having a good time? Yeah! How great is this? <laughs> all right, John. The drama! Your question is from a little film called Return of the Jedi. And your five-point question is, where on Tatooine is the Sarlacc located? Not on the planet. Jabba's barge? I mean, Not where? On the Not, yeah, I know. It was, some people are like, oh, oh, oh. Sorry, can, can you repeat that one more time? Where on Tatooine is the Sarlacc located? I would guess Jabba's barge because I don't know parts of Tatooine. Oh, Mos Eisley? Oh. The pit of Carcoon. Oh, nice. Sudden okay. death. Okay. Sudden death. The council is going for the title together. Cambia versus Napsok. Sudden death. So here's how sudden death's going to work. They're going to use the whiteboards. The first person that misses loses. So here we go. It's oh, right. tense, right. man. We're All right, guys. For this. Whiteboarding, yeah. What's that? We're whiteboarding for this. Oh, this is a Wait, championship match. <laughs> okay. We'll watch. We'll watch another one after this. Here we this. go, guys. So. On which planet does Leia tell Tarkin the rebel base is located? On which planet? You want a longer round? <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one. Uh, John. Dantooine? That's correct, Ken. Mm. Dantooine, they're on Dantooine. There we go, we're still alive. All right. In Return of the Jedi, who ensnared Luke Skywalker with a powered cable? Oh, that, the... Uh, non Java's barge. Can you, can you repeat the question? In Return of the Jedi, who ensnared Luke Skywalker with a powered cable? The, oh, the, it's Boba Fett. That's correct. Can't be. It's Boba Fett. There we what? Go. Still going on. Oh, yeah, and then he cut off his blaster. Right. Your next oh. question, gentlemen. Who dispatched Obi Wan and Qui Gon to settle the conflict on Naboo? Palpatine? Five, four, Dispatch. Three. John Campion. Chancellor Valorum. Ken. Mm. Chancellor Valorum. Yeah, Valorum. Keep going. Right. Palpatine wasn't a... Right. 
We keep going. Where did Darth Sidious order Grievous to hide the separatist leaders? Five, for a very long time. Four, three, two, one, Ken. Oh, Mustafar. Mustafar. Yeah. Mustafar. There we go. All right. All right. All right. At some point, do we call it a tie? Nope. <laughs> the Clone Wars film. I just jinked myself. You did. Ah. In the Clone Wars film, who voiced Obi Wan Kenobi? Chattacor. James Arnold Taylor. Five, four, three, two. One, and John Campion. Uh, Steven Stanton? And Ken? James Arnold Taylor. And your winner! And new Star Wars movie trivia champion, the pit boss, Ken Napsok! Napsok does it! Napsok does man. it! He was my favorite all along, and he paid off... All right, what's the next one we should watch? Oh, he told me to watch... Oh yeah, Shmodan, Whitwer versus Sullivan versus Adam or something. Or or Sam Witz or something. Oh yeah, Sean Sullivan versus Adam Witt movie trivia. No, I don't want to do movie trivia. I would suck at that. Schmodown. Let's see here. Schmo down. There's one from two years ago. Uh, Star Wars title match live from Chicago. There's one from ten months ago. Which one should we do, guys? Guruko says, hey, Theory, what's up? Today's actually my birthday. I'm having an awesome day. Dude, happy birthday, man. My birthday is uh, March 21st. So it's, what is it? Two weeks? Me again, just so you know, I poop my pants again, Kansas Beef Studios. Maybe you should have, stop having Kansas Beef, man. Star Wars Rebels, Freddie Prince, and Sam Witwer movie trivia. Yeah, I don't think I would do it do well at the movie trivia. Star Wars Schmodown Championship five way match featuring Sam. Yeah, okay, let's do this one. Am I getting paid for this ad? No. Get out of here. God damn it, get out of here, dude. Ugh. Nice. Sweet. Yeah, let's just not advertise for them. Oh my gosh. So annoying. It does this every time I stream, too. I'll just download it. That's fine. Take like Probably three seconds. Boom, here we go. In your house, and you have Didn't we just watch this one? Is that what we just watched? God damn it, we just, we just watched this stupid. I just downloaded the wrong thing. Uh, 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 what are we gonna do here? Star Wars movie trivia show schmodown. Sam Witwer. Okay, fine. Let's do this one then. Two years ago. And your winner. And the new Oh, hey there. How's it going? I'm John Roca, aka the Outlaw, the first ever singles and. Clones. All right, here we go. Your question therein: Who frees and then 
we'll just, we'll just we'll Clea Glars. We'll just start here. I think they would have liked to do over in the in the delivery room. All over. Yeah. <laughs> maybe, maybe the husband gave in. Yeah. Or maybe, the woman, maybe, maybe they were naming her Shim. Yeah. Five. And they misspelled it. Four. Like Oprah was supposed to be Orpa. Three. Everyone, big two, happy birthday one, to Guruko in the comments. And Joseph. Hi, I'm Clea Glars. <laughs> That's correct, Shayna. <laughs> I got nothing. Uh, I know the actor. Alex. Lee Glars. Sam. Oh. Lee Glars. And Steele. I went with Jack Thompson. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> all right. From Australia that played Clee Glass. All right, all right. So we got but we got Scribshaw with mm -hmm. two, Alex with two, and Sam with two. Shane and Steele now have one as we get to question number three. That's Return of the Jedi. Return of the Jedi, what did Han tell Chewie to do when they approached the Star Destroyer seeking clearance to land on Endor? Hans instructions. Hmm, that, I remember. Hans like Hans Gruber. Great movie. Great Can we movie. do a Die Hard movie? I wonder what the answer yeah. is. Yeah. yeah. I'd I'd love love that. I would love Shoot that. the glass. Five. Four. Bill Clay. Three. Two. One. Pens down. Shayna. Mm -hmm. Shana. I bet they all watched this, like, Fly watched casual. all the Star Wars movies before they go Alex. in there. Fly casual. That is correct, Sam. That'd be a good... <laughs> that is correct. Have <laughs> <laughs> steel. Fly casual. That works. And Joseph? No, I don't know. Fly casual. There you go. All right. So, Salinas, <laughs> he's a Star Wars mind. And you got 3-3-2-2 three, three, two, two as we get into our next question. I think every competitor at the table has seen all the Star Wars movies. <laughs> <laughs> it's certainly possible. Your next question comes from the Phantom Menace. Why do I get to ask the prequel question? The Phantom Menace. <laughs> and your question is, what was Jar Jar Binks' response to Qui-Gon asking if he was brainless? was Jar Jar's quoted response. You know, as a fan of Menace, I still have fond memories of being there in the theater opening opening night. Do you? I gotta cut you off. Five, <laughs> four, three, good story. Two, no. one, pens mm -hmm. down, and we have uh, Alex. I spec. That is correct. Sam. I spec. That is correct. <laughs> it's spelled Alex. spec. I speak. That's correct. Joseph. I also spec. And Shana. I said yes. Oh, okay. oh the ability to think, speak does not make okay. Four, right. two, Alex four, Sam four. All right, here we go. Next question, in the category of the Force Awakens, how many times does Kylo Ren wound Finn with his three bladed lightsaber? Oh, I twice. Go too far down a rabbit yeah. hole online to sure. see the picture of us watching. Once in the Kylo shoulder and then in the back, he, right? Tears in your eyes too. I said in our yeah, arm. Yeah. That's that. But you're throwing us. me under no, the bus. Of course not. He punches Five. him in the face. Too. <laughs> Four. You can't do that. Three. Yeah, it's twice. Two. One. Pens down. Sam. Twice. That's correct. Steel. Yes. You got it. All right, Joseph. Two. And Shayna. Twice. That is correct. Alex. Two. You all got it. Look at that. So, wow. Alex, Scrimshaw, and Sam have not mixed after five questions. Sorry. Sam's still perfect. Should we dock him a all half three. point all because three. he put a question mark in his <laughs> answer? Is not the confidence we yes. expect. Yeah, you should. I, I kind of looked down work. at people that answered that one confidently. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. I just picked a number, but uh, <laughs> you, picked you, right you were number. going into that a bit too. Ca you were like, yeah, yeah it's two. Well, <laughs> the Sith picked two. Clever. <laughs> the next number on our mind is three, as in episode three, Revenge of the Sith. In the movie Revenge of the Sith, what is Obi-Wan's call sign during the space battle of Coruscant? Really good. You know what, Mike? You got to give be? credit to Chris Skalicki here who helped. Uh, Chris really Skalicki, there's well, an Skalicki. Yeah, I always yeah. get it wrong. Yeah. I always get it wrong. Yeah. But he likes me anyway, so I get away with it. Blue leader? At least he tells me. Skalicki's call sign should be Wolfman. Five. You can be Hollywood. I'll be Matt. Four. Know. Three. Two. Riley's one. Goose. And Steel. Big Bluey. Let's go with Blue One. That's incorrect. Oh, what? Old one. Incorrect. <laughs> Alex. I'm going with Hottie right. One Kenobi. <laughs> That's incorrect, Alex. Is it actually Blue Leader? Uh, saber two. That is incorrect, Sam. Red Leader. That's correct. Oh. Shit! Oh. Sam Whitworth oh. hits only one. That is perfect. <laughs> Sam Whitworth stays perfect. Six to five to five to three to four. Almost there, man. man. All right. Some pretty crazy answers there. Just pick yeah, a color, team. All right. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Next question. This is Empire Strikes Back. What object did Yoda and R2-D2 fight over, ending with Yoda saying, Mine! Or I will help you not. Uh... Not a bad. What a Yoda... Uh, is that good? Blue? It's flashlight. Everyone get the hell out of here! How about that? <laughs> dad, Dad, you know what happens when you drink. Fine. <laughs> or is Kane? Four, it was flashlight. Three, skunks. Two, 
One pens down Joseph. Uh, I put lamp with a period to show my confidence. <laughs> we'll, we'll accept lamp, Shana. Lamp. That is correct, Alex. Lamp. Uh, Sam. Lamp. That is correct. Okay, come on, and flashlight, lamp. Come on. Space torch. Uh, we're not going to give you space torch there. Okay, so. <laughs> what? It's a space torch. I think it kind of is a space torch. You can torch. challenge that if yeah. you like. I challenge. You challenge it. All right. <laughs> Steel. Steel is going to challenge, and we're going to uh, we're going to have some other experts in here, and, and yeah. we'll be right back. It was All a right, flask. It was like and a little. Because we're morons, we didn't realize that in Australia, I guess a torch is a light. So we're gonna go ahead. And, <laughs> we're, gonna go, we're gonna go ahead and give Steel the point there. We'll give Steel a point. All right. So there you go. So, but after after, after that question. Wow. All right. Scrimshaw six. Shana has four. Steel has five. Alex six. And Sam Whitwer is in the lead with seven. Has mm. not missed so far. All right. Oh you want to freak Steel out? Take him into the bathroom, flush the toilet, and watch his mind explode. <laughs> it goes the other way. There we go. <laughs> All right, next one. Next a guy in a pink jacket wants to take me to the toilet to watch water swirl. <laughs> wow. All right, here we go. So good being on YouTube. <laughs> next. In the movie Rogue One, my nickname in college, Rogue One, a Star Wars story. What is the name of the tropical planet in which oh, the final act uh, takes place? Uh, uh, I, I know this. Well, it looked like a sandals. I'd like to go to that resort. Can't. Ah. Uh, Three, two, one. Pens down, please. Steal. Uh, pens down. Pens down. Oh, dear pens God. Pens down. You're going to get a docking point. All right. Uh, Joseph? Uh, as it's called, I believe, in Australia. It's scare. Was scare. <laughs> <laughs> That's <is> correct, Shana. <laughs> Shana, what do you got? Scarif. Damn it. Uh, that's correct. Alex? Scarif. Uh, Sam? Scarif. And Steel? I'll be talking about me forgetting that name on SteelWars.com. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Okay. Take time out. All right. So now Steel and Shana are tied. Totally Scrimshaw, blanked. Scrimshaw, yeah. Scrimshaw right and Alex win. are tied. And Jack Sam Thompson. Whitwer has not missed with eight. Here's your next one. In the category of villains. Urgh. Villains. What general was portrayed by Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade and actor Julian Glover? Julian Glover? What? Who's Julian? Uh, I, think I would have made a good Julian. Uh, General. Yeah. What do you think? Do you think I pull off a Julian? Get that part. Like John Lennon's son. Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down. Shanna? Piet. No, it's Admiral yes. Piet. That is correct. Alex? Pierce. That's correct. Sam? Captain Nita. I kid. He's got it. Uh, uh, that is a callback, of course. Steel? I'm back. Beers. You got it. All right. And Joseph? General Beers. There you go. All right. So, Whoa, still. What a battle. Look it's at a this. battle. All right. So, but here's how. So, Sam is the only one who has not missed. If Sam hits this question, then Sam will get a bonus question worth one point. He's the only one eligible. So, here it is. Here it is. Your last question to see if Sam Whitworth's heart rate will rise above zero. <laughs> In the category of heroes, what color are Chewbacca's eyes? Blue. Look at Steel. Steel's trying to find the word in Australia. Wow. Can I tell you something? Yeah. I love They're one. blue. The Star Wars holiday special. Wow. I finally saw it. It almost ruins I Star know, Wars. I know. It introduced Boba Fett. Five, four, <laughs> three, two, one. Pens down. Sam. That's a perfect round. He gets a bonus. Steel. Wow. Steel. Let's just say I had a less than perfect round. Ah, all right. <laughs> Joseph. Blue. Correct. Shana. I went with brown. All right. Mm. And Alex. Blue. All right. So <laughs> Sam Whitworth <laughs> has got a perfect round. Scrimshaw and Alex, nine points. Shana has six. Steele has six. As we get into the bonus question, here is the bonus question for only Sam Whitworth. Sam, you do not have to write it down. You can just say your answer here. Here you go. Sam, in The Force Awakens, Han Solo said that he used to think that the magical power of the Force was a bunch of what? Oh. Mumbo Jumbo. For one more point. Uh, Sam Whitmer going up two points here. Uh, I was going to say out. hokey pokey. We get into round number two. The wheel will come out. Round number two. Mark, Woo. how's it work? Affectionately known as the wheel round. Each competitor on that there table is going to get a spin at that there wheel. Each slice on the wheel corresponds to a Star Wars film. We have three questions 
on each category. So once you spin it, if you're not a fan of what you spun, you are awarded one mulligan, at which point you can spin again. In Australia, that's called a do-over. You spin <laughs> it again, whatever it lands on, you must answer those three questions. Each question is worth two points. If you're not sure of the answer, you can ask for multiple choice, at which point the value of the question goes down to one. I want to remind all the competitors that stealing is allowed in round two. How a steal works is once we ask the question, Every other competitor who is not currently on, write down your answer on the whiteboard, silently think it to yourself, and if called upon, you can steal either two or one point. Same thing, 15 seconds to answer the question, and you all have your repeat the questions, and you still all have your challenge rules, so remember that. Uh, one guy doesn't have his challenge rule anymore. Who? Oh, yeah, Steele does, because the won. Australia debacle. He still got it. Yeah. Yeah. All Hi, right. Melbourne. You still have, you st you still have a challenge, because yeah. you won your challenge. All right. Here we go. So, Sam, you are in the lead. You can choose to go first if you like, or you can either defer to to Alex if you would like to do that. I will not defer. I've come before you to time. No, no, no. You go ahead. All right, Alex. <laughs> unless, Alex, you're, you also, you do not have to go because you're lead. You can pass it down if you want to go. You can pass, gonna go. You're going to go. All right, Alex is going to go first. All right. All right remember, you've got to give this a strong spin here. Strong spin. There's that spin. All right, here we go. Good looking spin by Alex. Landing on. Here we go. Which slice will he explain? Villains. Villains. So, villains, do you want to stay or spin again? One more time. Final spin here for Alex. Should he spin. stay or should he go? He goes. We're going to land on. Force Awakens oh. for Alex. All right. Alex is going to get the Force Awakens. Three questions. Remember, guys, as soon as his question is asked, start writing your answer down in case a steal can happen. All right. Go All right, ahead. Alex, three questions in the world. Force Awakens. All right. Question one. In the Force Awakens, in what system is the resistance base located? The Ilenian system. Two points for Alex. Whoa. There you go. There you go. Somebody saw that movie. All right, here you go. <laughs> question two. According to Han Solo, who stole the Millennium Falcon from him? Duquesne. Two points. Yeah. All right. Last. He knows his stuff. He knows his stuff. And your last question in The Force Awakens here, Alex. How many portions does Uncar Plot <laughs> offer for BBA? 60? 60 portions. Two points for Alex. Whoa. Big round for Whoa. Alex. Big Whoa. round for Alex. Whoa. Didn't even sweat. Cleaned wow. up. All right, so Sam, back to you. Do you want to go now, or you can defer to Joseph Scrimshaw? Uh, I'll do it. I feel a huge fear. <laughs> <laughs> so now, Sam, give a good spin. Oh, all right. Spin. We're with the spin. It was a good went around. spin. Might have been around. a practice went around. One. Revenge of the Sith, you want to st stay in on Sith? Sure. All right, here we go. Oh, Mark will ask, Revenge of the Sith. Revenge of the Sith. All right, here we go. <laughs> All right, Sam, your first question from Episode 3, Revenge of the Sith. What word does Obi-Wan use to describe General Grievous's blaster pistol? Uncivilized. Uncivilized. Two points for Two Sam. Two points <laughs> for Whitwer. And okay, next question. Your next question. What kind of power did Palpatine tell Mace Windu that he had? Unlimited power. Two more points there We're for Sam. Tying it up. Tying it up. Right it up. Yep. Last question for Sam. And your last question. Who greeted Obi Wan when he landed on oh. Utapau? Uh, the Revenge dude with the, the teeth. Sith. I don't know his name. When he landed on. Um. Can you they are here. Who greeted Obi Wan when he landed on this Utapau? This is the Utapauian. Um. About multiple choice. Forgot his name. Five, four, Just go multiple choice. Question. Go multiple choice, sure. man. Who greeted Obi Wan when he landed on Utapau in Revenge of the Sith? Uh, the chairman of Utapau. I don't know. His no, name. no, no. He's got a name. Go so, um, chairman of Utapau. That is incorrect. incorrect. So, 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 so this, is, this is a two-point steal here then for everybody because he did not opt to go to multiple choice. So, steal. What do you have? Oh, you can go for it. It's something. Starting with tin, that is it drifts off. That's incorrect, Joseph, for two points. Kion Madun. Yeah. Uh, that is correct. Wow. Uh, Shannon? 
Shannon, do you have it? Gian Madonna. Uh, oh, I don't, I don't Alex know. has it. Alex has it, Joseph has it, so that's a two-point steal there. Scrimshaw picks up two as 11. Alex picks up two, now it has 17. Back in the lead. So that was a big miss by Sam there because now you've got Joseph Scrimshaw has 11. Alex has 17, puts himself in the lead with that steal, and Sam has 15. The Russian is cut. All right, and all right, so here we go. Here we go. Now we go to Joseph, unless he does not want to go, he can defer. Joseph? Uh, it is the will of the force. You're going to go. All right, Joseph's going to go. Man, so that was a big <laughs> one That's there. a big I mean, steals can change the entire complexion of the match, especially in a fatal yeah, five way. can. Big spin there, Joseph, please. There's a big spin. <laughs> it went around. It went around. That's fine. It's not the best spin. but Get we... these Jedi some muscle milk. Dude, they, he did it with his mind. Villains. Villains. <laughs> villains. It's not the will of the force. He doesn't want a bigger spin. Bigger spin. Why doesn't anyone want villains? There we go. That's a spin right there. Grimshaw wearing an actual lightsaber. Oh, of that is a functioning laser sword. Empire Strikes Back. Who said it? <laughs> who said it? There you go. So we get who said it quotes in the realm of Star Wars. And that's going to be for Joseph there. All right. Here we go. Okay. Here we go, Joseph. Question one. In Attack of the Clones, who said the day we stop believing democracy can work is the day we lose it? Padme? Uh, yeah, Padme. Palpatine. That's incorrect. For the steal here, we have the uh, steel steel. riding furiously. So Padme? That's incorrect. Shannon? I had Padme. Incorrect. Oh, Alex? Padme. Incorrect. And Sam? Queen of Naboo wasn't Padme. That is correct. Queen of Naboo oh. is correct. What? Four points there. Queen of Naboo. We would have taken Queen. Monster steal. Queen by Jamila. Sam Queen of Naboo. We would have taken. So, wow. Yes. Okay. Now he's right back tied with Alex at the top. All right. Queen of Naboo, and you call on Space Torch? Come on. <laughs> you can cha you can challenge it. You can challenge his answer. You want to challenge? No, his no, 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 no. All right, all right. Here, we, here we go. Here we go. Next. They're question. all beautiful queens. Next. Next question. Okay. Damn. Who asks? Who asks aloud, why do I sense we've picked up another useless life form? Uh, Obi-Wan. Obi-Wan Kenobi. Two points there for Scrimshaw getting back on the board. <laughs> and your final question. Your final Can question. Can I point out it's pathetic life form? One point off for you guys. Oh. <laughs> uh, yell, yell at the uh, writer who's sitting right in front of you. That's one All point right. off for Christian because he asked the question. I'm still in the clear. All right, here we go. Last question. Last question. In the original trilogy, who said, I shall enjoy watching you die? Job of mm. the hut. Correct for two points. Joseph Scrimshaw. A nice recovery yeah. from his misstep. But Sam, That's Sam tough. got himself That's right tough. back into it with that big steal there. So it's 17. 17 <laughs> it's not now. English. Shana it's a subtitle. She wants to defer to steal. Shayna's gonna go. All right, so Shayna now Shana's needs a bigger. Shayna's also gonna ask if maybe Sam would play Vanna White for her because I don't think I'm gonna get back in this chair. So Sam's gonna spin. Sam gonna for spin. Shayna, we will allow that for sure. What a Sam, big spin. Gentlemen. Big spin, Sam. There we go, Thank big you, spin. Sir. There it is, Sam spinning for Shayna. <gasps> there we go. Good spin. <laughs> Good spin. <laughs> Whitwer has a future on Wheel of Fortune if he wants it. Landing hmm. on. Rogue One? Would you like to stay or go? Oh, why not? Gonna go for it. All right, Rogue One. Going for Rogue One. Hey, nice. it. All right, Shayna, your first question in the world of Rogue One, a Star Wars story. Grand Moff Tarkin says that Krennic made what? An ally to the Rebels. I gotta go multiple choice. Uh, I can provide four possible answers. Is it A, knowledge? B, time, C, luck, or D, hope? Holy Can time. The question? Certainly. Grand Moff Tarkin says that Krennic made time. what? An ally to the rebels. Hope. Is that correct? Oh. For, correct. So for too one cliche. point. Let's go with time. One point for Steel. Beautifully done. Time. One point, Alex. Time. One point, yeah. and Sam? Time. One point. Everybody right. picked up a point there. Everybody picked up a point. So it's tough not to take that hope did bait they, in they, Rogue One. Yeah, second no. question for Shayna. Your penultimate question in round two, Shayna. No oh boy. Which Star Wars character attempts to say the classic, I have a bad feeling about this line in Rogue One? K2. K2. That is, that is correct. K2SO is the absolutely. answer. There you go. Two points. 
for Shayna. And your last question. What is the name of the popular gunner character affectionately dubbed the space um. Um. I see him, I see him, I see him. Like, oh. You wanted that so much. You I see him every time I close my eyes. You love him. I need, it. I need multiple choice. I can give you multiple choice. Thank you. Is it A, Bayes, B, Malbus, C, Biston, Bays. or D, Libark? Biston. Biston, the one space point. There you go. All right. Biston. Good round there, Marcella. She used multiple choice very well. And but now Steele, just by proxy of going last in round two, yeah. has a lot of mountains. He's, he's looking at the Rockies right yes. now. <laughs> Steele needs, Steele needs, um, he has to get, he has to be within 10 or he's going to be knocked out of this round. Right. Everybody so. in Melbourne, the Rockies are a range of mountains in the western United States. <laughs> All right. So Steele is going to give a good spin here and land on hopefully something that he enjoys. Big spin there, Steele. And it's in Melbourne, a pink jacket. <laughs> uh, give it a torch spin. Uh, that's fine. Hey, that's a good it, spin. It goes over. It goes over. Uh, that's a good all spin. Right, what are you right, doing? All right, all right. Giving the guy guff. Oh, boy. What is Empire? Kay. Empire Strikes Back. Ooh. Going to stay. Going to stay on Empire. On Empire. All right, I got Empire here. All right, Empire. All right, Steel. So you got Empire Strikes Back, and you need a nice little round here to stay in the game. All right, here we go. Steel, we're going to give you a little extra time to answer this question. We'll give you 25 seconds. How many characters lose an appendage in The Empire Strikes Back? Who? <sighs> uh, animals, characters? Characters. Yes. So there's 3PO seconds. and Luke. That's two. A little bit more recall. Uh, three with the Wampa. I'm going to go three. 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 I'm going to go with the ones I remember. Two. And two. Two is incorrect. Ooh. So we're going to have a steal here. Joseph. Ooh. Three. Correct. Toit. And we have Shayna. I had one. Alex. I had already written down two. And Sam. Get the big steal there. <laughs> okay, next, next question, Mark. Here we go. All right, question number two, steal. What was Luke's call sign during the Battle of Hoth? Rugby. That is correct. Two points for Steel. Big two points for Steel right there. Keep he can really use this next two Keep to get into round it. three. Yeah. All right. I'm going to say Scrimshaw's next to me right, like just trying to get the scratch. <laughs> <It's> pathetic. <laughs> All right, here we go. Your final question. Your final question in Empire. What announcement causes everyone in the Rebel base on Hoth to cheer? The first transport is away. Two points for Steel. <laughs> Getting himself to 11 Big points. Point. So oh. with that, oh. Shayna has oh. been eliminated. Oh. All right, so well done. Well, done. big hand for uh, yeah. for Shana. You know, Christian George Lucas and J.J. Abrams would be thrilled with what just happened because there was a lot of wipeaways, a lot of different scenes. We had some lens flares in there, a whole <laughs> the lot of stealing going on. Some pickpocketry <laughs> is afoot, but we end up with a very competitive. <laughs> Round three, like we said, the winner is going to move on to the Schmodown Spectacular this holiday season. All right, so, Mark, how does round number three work? I will answer that question for you happily. Round number three, each competitor at the table is going to give us a series of three numbers. These numbers are going to range from one all the way down to 19. Because Sam Whitwer is in the lead, he is going to give us his favorite three numbers from 1 to 19, and then we will progress down the list. this riff, dude? Each of those numbers correspond to a category up here at our answer desk. The first question you receive is going to be worth two points. The next question, three. The last question, five. There is no stealing in round three. These are your questions and your questions alone. There is also no penalty for missing an answer. Sam, you are in the lead here by two points. Please pick three numbers from 1 to 19. One, three, eight. Because, because both Joseph Scrimshaw and Alex are tied, we're going to do a, a coin toss here. We're going to let Alex, Alex, you call it, heads or tails? Heads. It's tails. Ooh. Joseph Scrimshaw, you get to choose three numbers. <laughs> 11, 14, 19. 11, 14, 19. Now we go back to Alex. Well, Sam over here stole Big's red three for me, so I'm going to go uh, red two, wedge, red six, Porkins, red five, Luke. Steal. Please pick three numbers. Uh, let's go 15, 16, 17. 15, 16, 17. 
So now we go to Steel. Now Steel needs to keep himself in this thing. Also, he needs to catch up to 20 points. I had said before 18, so I was wrong on that. So 20 points you need to get. Steel needs to hit all three of his points. That's right. All three of his questions. Steel here. Saunders making it very easy for us up here, picking numbers 15, 16, and 17. Your first category, 15. Vehicles and weapons. <laughs> uh. Vehicles <laughs> and weapons. Uh. Someone get my car. <laughs> I know he wants it. Your question for two so points. So bad at this. What is the center switch on a speeder bike used for? Acceleration. I don't know. Locking transmissions. Jamming. We can accept jamming con links that is the two official points. answer. Absolutely. Two points. Absolutely. For right. Steel right there. Yeah, Steel for a second. Steel right. has number 16. Okay. Number 16 for Steel. Number 16 corresponds to a film known as The Phantom Menace. You've seen it. The Phantom Menace. For three points, your question is, what veteran actor played the Supreme Chancellor of the Galactic Senate at the start of the film? Terrence Stamp. Three more Great points. points. Steel. Look at that. So Steel. <laughs> well, here we go. If Steel, if Steel hits his five pointer now, he will take the lead. So he has the five pointer in order to take the lead here. Your category for your five point question: filming locations. Ooh. Filming locations. And your question you is: <laughs> in what go. Central American country? were the exterior shots of Yavin's moon film. Yavin? <laughs> tomato, tomato. Uh, in Central American. Five. Can you repeat the question? I this certainly may. This is his last one. I don't know. Well, yeah. then he used the, it wisely. Yeah. Dominican. For five points. Um, in what Central oh. American country were the exterior shots of Yavin's moon film? Five, four, three, two, one. Need an answer? I think we should take a time just to uh, talk about the Steel Wars podcast. <laughs> it's on iTunes. And uh, with Christian's coming up on it soon. So, uh, oh, does that buy him another ten seconds? And with that, that <laughs> Steel has no been good. eliminated. No good. What was the answer? We were looking for Guatemala. 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 All right, now we go. We go here because. It, now it is between Scrimshaw, oh Alex, and Sam. Oh we are going to – Alex oh lost the, the toss, so Alex will be going first here. Alex, you chose category number two. Guatemala. Yeah, half of you are Googling this right now and being in the comments, it's Guatemala, guys, I know it. It's ask in his first line in Star Wars, A New Hope. Where um – where are those transmissions you received? What have you done with those plans? Where are the plans? Yeah, that's, I think that's, that's, that's the actual one. It's, it's, I would, it, it wasn't jamming com links. That's true. I, I, we're, gonna, we're, gonna, we're, gonna, we're gonna give it to you, because it was, it, it was where are those transmissions you intercepted? Mm. You yeah. intercept it. If someone wants to challenge it, not, we're going to go. I think that's good for two. In football, reception versus right. interception, huge right, difference. Go, Here, not go, so much. We're going to go two points. I think uh, <laughs> John Roca, Lena Heady, Headley with a. With so after Alex had hit his two pointer, now we go to Scrimshaw, who needs to hit his two pointer to tie up the game here. Joseph Scrimshaw, I'll be administering your questions. We're dear friends, but I feel nothing for you right now. I understand. <laughs> you picked number 11. I did. The number of Mark Rippon and also The Clone Wars, mm. which is a Star Wars movie. <laughs> Let's do it. Two points, Joseph. Your question is, what nickname did Anakin Skywalker give to a Kano in The Clone Wars? Snips. Two, two points. points. All right. For Joseph Scrimshaw. All right, so we have a three-way tie here. Alex has 20, Scrimshaw 20. Now we go to Sam, who's going to get his two-pointer. Sam, you chose category number one. That's Heroes. That is Heroes Two Pointer. Uh, what did Anakin ask Padme when they first met? You an angel? Are you an angel? Two points, Sam. We're not even flinching. 
And now we go back to Alex for his three pointer. His three pointer. Don't laugh, it's smooth. <laughs> <laughs> the way that Sam said angel. that, on, it, it, it reminded go? me of the height song, How Do You Talk to an Angel? Yeah. Okay. All right, so a All right. Alex, now, Alex now has his three pointer. <laughs> Alex, your three point question. We'll give you a little more time for this one. Name three planets that were featured in Attack of the Clones. Coruscant, Genosis. Camino, Geonosis. Camino. The guy doesn't want any more time. Yep. Fine, now, don't yep. take it. And now he has taken the lead. Yeah. And we bounce back. We bounce back to Scrimshaw now, who has his three pointer. All right, Joseph Scrimshaw, uh, your question comes from category 14. 14. And the movie that corresponds to, some might say, the second greatest Star Wars movie of all time, The Empire Strikes Back. Some and might say that. Your question for three points. What is the call sign of the Snowspeeder pilot who found Luke and Han on Hoth? Uh, Blue Leader? Rogue Two. Three, Three points. points. Oh, nice. Scrimshaw Scrimshaw tied, it the top. tied it up. And now Sam. Now Sam's looking to take the lead here. Sam's got his three-pointer, and that was category number three for Sam. And that is the Skywalkers. Whew. The Skywalkers. Heard of them. All right, here we go. Sam, in the category of Skywalkers, what was Leia's first line in A New Hope? Uh, Darth Vader, only you could be so bold. Three points for Sam <laughs> Witwer. Wow. wow, Sam Witwer taking a two-point lead. And now he forces both Alex and Scrimshaw to hit their five-pointers as we bounce to Alex. Alex, back to you. You picked for your final category and your five-point questions, coincidentally enough. Category number five. That corresponds to droids. Ugh. You do serve their kind here, and your five-point question is, what is the name of Obi-Wan Kenobi's R4. red astromech droid in Attack of the Clones? R4P17. How wow. does that even get out there? He did it. He did it. How does anybody know that? He did it. That? He's got... He ah! now put himself in position ah! here. Scrimshaw ah! needs to hit this in order to, to tie Alex. He needs to tie Alex <laughs> with his five-pointer. Here we go, oh. Alex. Joseph. Sorry, here we go. Joseph, number 19. <laughs> number 19, you have the category of, I have a bad feeling about this. Hmm. Five-pointer. What two characters said the famous line in episode four? Uh... Han Luke and Luke and Han Solo for five points. We are tied it up. So Scrimshaw and Alex will play in a sudden death if Sam misses. Mm. However, if Sam hits his five pointer, Sam will be going on to play <laughs> Ken Knapsack for the championship. This never goes well. <laughs> <laughs> you saw this movie. I saw this movie. Double -double. <laughs> Spoiler alert. Sam, here we go. So for 264 of you here right now. In order to challenge Ken Knapsack for the championship at the Schmodown Spectacular, here is your category. Category is who said it? Who said it? In the Empire Strikes Back, who said, get a shuttle ready? I shall assume full responsibility for losing them and apologize to Lord Vader. Captain Nita? You're kidding me. <laughs> Captain Nita. And you Whoa, Hold on. Hold on. Wait, that is it? the will of the force. Wait, There's no that, doubt about did it. Did that really just happen? That what? just happened. That just happened. <laughs> Got it right here. And Captain yeah. Nita, the one who sunk him at the celebration, yeah, it comes saves back to him. 
It's unbelievable. It's the luck of the draw, the picking of the numbers. Congratulations, not just to Sam Witwer, but all five competitors here. True Blue, Star Wars fanatics showing their knowledge on full display here. My hat's off if I had one on in the first place to everybody on that desk right now. Guys, guys, if I can, thank you guys so much. If I could get Sam to where Steele is sitting at the moment here, I want to give a quick interview to Sam. Thank you guys so much, very much. Guys, how about our other four competitors here today? Wow. Thank, thank you, guys. All right, so we have Sam Whitworth. First of all, Sam, congratulations on that win. Huge win. Huge win, dude. I mean, that, I mean, those, those guys, both, all of them, I mean, just that battle. Can you tell me a little bit about that battle as you were in it? Well, let me just start with the questions this time around. Yeah. A lot harder. A lot harder this time. Oh yeah. God, yeah, 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 okay. yeah. I was very, very impressed. I don't know. How do you think? How do you guys think I would do? Should we do another round? Let's do another round. I'm gonna take a pee break. All right, we've got the little pup here. What's the next one we should watch? Eh? What do you guys think? <laughs> what do you want? Uh, what we got here, what we got here? What's the next one? Oh, here we go. We got one from 10 months ago. Jump right into it. 
And your question is, who is Yoda speaking with when he admits blind we are if creation of this clone army we could not see? Uh, Obi-Wan and Mace? Jazzed up Yoda's, like, misdirectional speech in the prequels. The guy wasn't making any sense in those It's a good gimmick. Five, four, three, Mm. two, one, and Joseph. Mace Windu. Yes, sir. And Alex? Mace Windu. Two, two. Two, two. So would I get half a point for that, or? (laughs) All right. In the category of Mark Ellis' favorite movie, Return of the Jedi. Yub nub for life. All All right, here we go. What did Moff Gerard tell Darth Vader he needed to complete the construction of the second Death Star? What? It's excuse Moff me. Gerard. What did Josh? Jesus. What did? Jer Gerard. Thank you. What did Moff Jer Gerard tell Darth Vader he needed to complete the construction of the second Death Star? You know what they call uh, Jer Gerard on the ship? They just call him Jer Bear. Yeah. <laughs> Don't let JTE say it. Five. Four. Three. That's a comedy story two, for regular, ladies and gentlemen. One. Pans down. And Alex. More men. Yes. And Joseph. I need more men. Yes. Okay. Five. We have three, three. All right. Next one. All right. We go to a movie that I waited in line three days to see. That is The Phantom Menace. And your question is, in episode one, what is the alphanumeric designation of the Naboo Starfighters? What? I don't know. Boy, are we getting to the nation. nation. Uh, Not like a who played Luke kind of question. Nine? People always ask me, why do you compete? <laughs> Questions like this. Five, four. We're not even able to write the questions three, anymore. Two, one. Pens down, please. And Joseph. N1. Yes. And Alex. N1. Look at these two. Oh, I see. Naboo four. one. Hmm. Oh, three, three. Excuse me. What is it? Four, 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 four. Four, four. four. All right. Right. Next alphanumeric. Question. Next question. Number five. Strong. Force Awakens. Force Awakens. This famous veteran of the Galactic Civil War came out of retirement to join <coughs> General Leia's resistance. Who is he? Uh, what, what? Uh, uh, very Regis Philbin. Who is he? Who is he? Um, <laughs> what's it? Five, four, three. Telling a story. Two, one, and Bay. Alex. Admiral Akbar, may he rest in peace. Mm. Yes, and Joseph. This question is not a trap, Akbar. That's right. This is the championship. No wonder it's so hard. I forgot Akbar's not with us anymore. Oh, you don't remember? The what? The what? Oh, God. <laughs> Very disrespectful. Very disrespectful. He should have been with us, though. What? Silly decision. Blown to bits, sadly, he could not have the funeral he wanted being flushed down a no. toilet. <laughs> comes from Revenge of the Sith. Revenge of the Sith, and gentlemen, your question is, which clone trooper is the first to receive the Order 66 message Cody. from Darth Sidious? Do you think all the, all the troops giggled if he said Order 69? <laughs> Five. <laughs> four. Three. Two, one, pens down, please, and Joseph. Cody. Yes, and Alex. Cody. It is. Six, six. Cody Hall, that's a wanger. Six, six. I added a, a sad face because it is a sad scene. It is. You're right. <laughs> Extra point? No, I'm sorry. I can't Alex, it. if you could add more emotion to your answers. <laughs> <laughs> probably, probably won't. All right. All right, next question, gentlemen. The best movie in the franchise, The Empire Strikes Back, is the next category. <laughs> While on Dagobah, who did Luke say that he saw in his forced vision, causing him to lose focus and abruptly end his training with Yoda? Leia. We said he saw his friends, but. Let's start the fifth sense because we're mm. going to be perfect friends. Five. Yeah. We saw Leia. Four. Three, He's like, Leia, and then two, he falls. One, pens down. Alex? Han and Leia. Yes, Joseph. Han and Leia. Tied up. This is a championship match. We needed mm. both names. They gave us both names. Interesting. Uh, we well, we wouldn't get that point, I guess. From the movie, A Star Rogue One Wars Story. <laughs> and your 
question is, Admiral Raddus commanded the Battle of Scarif from the deck of what rebel capital ship? 10C4. These guys fart more correct answers yeah, than I know. Yeah, that's true. Five. He did it just now. Four, three, two, one. Pens down, please. And Joseph. Profundity, smiley face. That's right. Alex. The profundity, no smiley face. <laughs> I would not know that. <laughs> what a battle. What a battle. Impressive. And the crowd giving them the respect that they deserve here. Hello, wisdom. Hello, profundity. All right, guys. Two questions left in round one. I would crash and burn nice. at this. <laughs> Oh, nice. The movie I've seen Very twice. Nice. Just, just like the movie. Christian, I noticed our online chat just spiked when you said those words. <laughs> <laughs> the whole thing just crashed. All right, here we go. The casino on Canto Bight can be found on what Outer Rim planet? Hmm. Name of the this is the thing. I don't have any interest, so I just don't even... Three, two, one. Pens down, please. And Alex. It's located in the corporate sector of space, Cantonica. Yes, Joseph. Cantonica. Tie game. Nine, nine. So how about this? If they both get this next one right, Mark, they get them. They both get a bonus question because they'll have themselves a perfect round. All right, here we go. Your last question comes from the movie Solo, a Star Wars story brought to you by Denny's. <laughs> Your question. This class of stormtroopers protect the conveyance transport on the snowy planet of Bandor. He's a class of storm. <laughs> you can't just write stormtrooper and get it right. <laughs> you know the guys with the 110 on their back? Yeah. Not good, good enough. Good, good job, Shill. Mm -hmm. Five. Four. Three. Two. One, Joseph, for the perfect round. Range Troopers. Yes, and Alex, for the perfect round. Range Troopers. Wow! <laughs> wow! Did ten, you expect ten. any different? Did you what? expect any different from these wow. two? Wow. Ten, ten. Woo! All right. All right, so here's how it works. These guys will both get the same question here. And it will, extra question, one point. One point for the bonus, gentlemen. Here we go. Who played Weasel? A pod race spectator in Phantom Menace that became a marauder in Solo, a Star Wars. Oh, uh, Wicket. Uh, uh, Welcome to the Dune Sea Rally. I, I know the actor. He, uh, no. I know his name, too. So that's subtitles. Five, he plays Wicket as four, the Ewok. Three, two, um, one. Alex. Warwick Davis. Yes, Joseph. Yeah. Warwick Tie Davis. game. 11. 11. What a round one! What a championship round one! And now we switch ourselves into round two, Mark. It's the wheel round. How's that go? Well, in the interest of time, we should have skipped to the five-point question for each one and call it right. a day. In round number two, this is known as the wheel round. Now, the wheel was very sorry, but it had family obligations and could not make the trip. However, we do have an electronic wheel for you, gentlemen. It is still the wheel of fate, d uh, justice, you carry it. and destiny. <laughs> The wheel for today's match is a sponsored wheel, and it is sponsored by Schmodown patron John Layton. How about a hand Woo! for John Layton? Sponsoring, and the ones, the, uh, the two slices that John wanted to sponsor were the Phantom Menace and Rogue One. Thank you, John, Thanks, John. Layton, for your patronage. Now, in round number two, each competitor is going to hear five questions. It's the championship match, so five questions each. Each question is worth two points. There's no penalty for missing a question. However, there is stealing available in round number two. If you're not sure of the answer to the question we ask you, ask us for multiple choice. We'll give you four options, one of which is the correct answer. At that point, the value of the question goes down to one. You see the beautiful wheel on the screen behind you. Uh, Joseph, Alex, you guys are tied right now, but Alex, you are holding a very pretty belt, so you have the option. Would you like to spin first, or would you like to defer to your drunk opponent? I'll let Joseph go. You let Joseph go, okay. I didn't realize there were... All right. All right, here we go. Joseph's gonna use the force. 
And there you go. Look at the force. Good move. It's it impressive. There's the the opposite way. Very impressive. Look at that. Yeah. There's the spin. Mm. All right. Right. Yeah. Down it goes. And it's landing on. <laughs> Meryl Streep. Crowd chain for a highly unlikely outcome. Episode seven, The Force Awakens. Joseph? I will accept. Take it. All right, Joseph. Five questions. Five questions in the realm of The Force Awakens. Here's your first. In The Force Awakens, what are Leia's final words to Han? Bring our son home. Bring him home. Correct for two points. Scrimshaw takes the lead. All right. Question two. In the beginning of The Force Awakens, what is the name of the ship that Han and Chewie are using Ooh. in their smuggling operation? The Irvana. Correct. Woo. Two points. Mm. That's a spicy one. Yeah. Question three. Why do BB-8 and Rey first interact with Finn? Or how? Because of, of Poe's jacket. First interact with Finn? He's wearing Poe's jacket. Please repeat the question. How do BB-8 and Rey first interact with Finn? We're, we're looking for the catalyst that got them to interact. What was it? Uh, I will not editorialize. I will simply attempt to answer. Uh, Finn intervenes to help Rey in a fight. It's incorrect. For the steal. BB-8 recognizes his jacket, and they chase him, and then they That's correct. The Two points. <laughs> Two points. That is... Good point. That is a tough question. Tough it's question. a little tricky, but it's a fair answer. Alex answered it, and that is a huge steal early on in round number two. All right. All right, here we go. Next question. Next question. Also known as the Crimson Corsair. Cors oh, there you go. Good to you. I think I could help you complete this question if you need it. <laughs> It is, the, it is the, the Crimson, yeah, I'll just do it. Just do it. Also known as the Crimson Corsair, Finn seeks a ride off Tokadana with this Red Raider pirate. Sedan Athano. Yes, two points. Okay. Taco Donna, come Last on. Last question here, Joseph. Last question. What is the name of the scavenger that nets BB-8 on Jakku? Tito. Two more points. All right. But that, that steal was huge, but Damon finds himself down six. It was but a big steal, Christian, but you have to remember this is a five-round match, and so you have the betting round where points could be lost or gained. Then you also have the speed round, which relies on your ability to hit a buzzer and answer a question under two seconds. Joseph has plenty of life left in him. That's right. All right, so now Alex will spin. Alex, give you your fourth spin. There you go. <laughs> All right, Alex spinning <laughs> the opposite way of the wheel. There's the spin. As Ken says, the spin in Australia, is the wheel spins well, the other way. This is the star of episode nine. Oh, wait, that's in episode three. Sorry, sorry. And it lands on. This could be a, could be another Force Awakens. No, you'll so spin, again. spin again. Spin again. I'll spin it harder this time. Spin harder, please. There it goes. Cut to three hours later. The Force <laughs> Awakens. Spin again, Alex. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, look, we don't really know what he's thinking. It could, it could happen again, Christian. <laughs> <laughs> the, last, the last Jedi. There it is. Seems to be the, the, the villain of today's show. I guess I'm taking it. Are you staying? Are yeah. You stay with it? Can after that. She got, you're going to stay? I'll stay. He's going to stay. Okay. He's going to take the last Jedi. All right, Alex, five questions. I would this fail all these questions. Two or one if you ask for multiple. Your first question. In the opening space battle of The Last Jedi, what is the name of Blue Leader? Tally Lentra. You got it. Two points. <laughs> you don't have to write. That's it. You don't have to write. Alex Damon now trailing Scrimshaw by four. Your next question. How many resistant how many resistance transport ship launched from cruiser to try and make it to crate? See, it's not that easy, is it? <laughs> How many resistance transport ships went from the cruiser to try to make it to crate? 30. That is correct. Wow. Uh, right now, it's your next question. In The Last Jedi, 
What is the name of the ship that DJ commandeers during the escape at Canto Bight? The Libertine. Yes, it is. This kid is ridiculous. It's also a uh, bar on Sunset. I did stand-up once in 2009. After being paid by the first order, what did DJ call Finn? Mm. Um. Big F. Two points. What are you going? All right, so now Alex Damon has a two-point lead on Joseph Scrimshaw, and he has one more question. That one is, in the film The Last Jedi, Rose states that if they're able to disable the First Order tracking device, that they won't realize it's off for one system cycle, which lasts how many minutes? Six. Yes, it does. Six-minute system cycle. And that steal was everything. That was a four-point yes, swing there. Yes, it was. And the champion finds himself four points up going into round number three, Mark, which is the betting round. How's that go? It is the betting round. Wager away like you're on Canto Bite. In the betting round, this is round three. You each will see what we spin there on the wheel. It's going to land on a category. You're going to get one question from that category. That question is asked to the field. Once you get the category, you're going to wager points from zero to three. You can wager one point, two point, three points, zero points, however many you wish. Keep in mind, if you get the question right, you gain that many points. If you get the question wrong, you lose that many points. It works like round one. We'll ask you the question. Please write down your best attempt at an answer on the whiteboard. You get 15 seconds. We'll get your answer. All right. So with that, we'll bring the wheel up, and then Alex Damon will use the force to spin the wheel, and then we will pick that category. All right, Alex, there's the spin, and... There, there we go. Wonderful. <laughs> it's amazing. Seamless. High tech. <laughs> Practice that for three hours today. Yeah, good. What will it land on? All right, will it be The Force Awakens? Will it be Meryl Streep? Back around and. Oh. Episode there four. Episode four. All right, so gentlemen, please put your points, how many you're going to wager, and here's the question. So uh, can I, Alex, can I just get a quick, just a quick thank you, Joseph. Just a quick look at your board. Just thank you Great. so much. Appreciate it. I like to know things. All right, here we go. Here we go. All right, your question, gentlemen. On the Tantive Four, at the beginning of A New Hope, what Imperial officer suggests to Lord Vader that holding Leia is dangerous and could generate sympathy for the Rebellion? Five, four, three, two, one, and Joseph, how many points? Two points. Two points. And, yes, and you and your answer. Paul Treatum. Correct. And Alex, how many points? Three points. And you bet. Uh, I said a I smiley said, or a frowny face. You didn't, didn't have know. it either. Wow. So Alex loses three points. <laughs> so it's now a. 2017, Scrimshaw actually gains a point there. He gained one the, point there yeah. because neither one of them knew it. Yeah. The answer, the answer was Dane Jeer. Jeer, J-I-R, Dane Jeer. Come on, have you ever seen the movie? Got to do a video on him. For, wow, so look at that. Yeah. Unbelievable. Okay, so now with that, that was huge for Scrimshaw. That was huge. He now only finds himself down three, and we get to round number four, which is that speed round. Make sure I can see those buzzers there. And Mark, how's that go? Well, this is how it works, Christian. I get to go be a game show host oh, and right. stand up in between the two competitors. Go for it. You see the buzzers right here. We're going to do a quick test run of each one. As soon as you all hear the question, even before the question is finished being asked, if you think you know the correct answer, feel free to hit that buzzer. If the buzzer lights up green, I am going to say your name. I will either say Joseph or I will either say Alex. Once I say your name in full, you have exactly two seconds to answer the question in the microphone. It takes you longer than two seconds or you don't know it, you will lose a point. If you get the question right, you will gain a point. Now, Scrim Show is going to be looking to gain some points here, and here we go. If you guys are ready, Alex, you're ready? Ready. Joseph, you ready? Yes, I am. Then let's begin. Okay. First question. Who's the first human character seen in The Empire Strikes Back? Alex. Mm. Luke Skywalker. Correct for one point. Question two. What species are the axe-toting creatures that guard the entry to Jabba's... Joseph. 
Good morning, guys. Good morning. Yes, one point. Question three. Han Solo meets Chewbacca on which muddy planet? Alex, Mimbam. Yes, one point. Question four. This healing substance helped men... Alex, Bacta. Bacta. Yes. And your final question, final question in the speed round. Uh, Christian, g give it one second here. The uh, buzzers seem to have chosen whether they're on the dark side or the light. And we are clear. Okay. All right, here we go. Last one. Producer Robert Watts. He's got a cameo as an Imperial in which film? Joseph. Return Empire of the Strikes Jedi. Back. Yes, he does. Wow. Right. 23 19. 23 19. Four points. Four points as we get to the fifth and final round. Not a single question missed there, Christian. They're buzzing in, they're going tit for tat, they're taking turns. It is a four point advantage once again for Alex Damon. In round number five, this could determine your winner. Each competitor is gonna hear three questions from three different corners of the Star Wars movie trivia showdown galaxy. The first question here is gonna be worth two points. Your next question is worth three points. Your last one, should we make it that far, is worth five meaty points. You all will have 20 categories to choose from, so we need three numbers from each of you to determine the categories that you hear the questions from. Uh, Joseph, you're currently trailing Alex by four, so Alex, we're gonna get your numbers first. From one to 20, what do you like? It's not bad, dude. Like, going in here, super cold, not having watched any of the films in a while. Um, 20, 19, yeah. 18. I don't know. Back. I'm sure if I like All right. read high up on everything numbers. again. Very high numbers. Joseph, we Might do okay. For you. That comes from the category of The Force Awakens. Okay. First introduced in The Force Awakens, who voices the oh. character of Maz Kanata? I don't know. Lupita Nyong'o. For two points. It wasn't really her, was it the tethered one? It's <laughs> from the... From the... It's from the movie. I know, the other movie, I get it. The bounce, the bounce it back now to the champion. You gotta hit this one. Category 19. Category 19 is Revenge of the Sith. Who provides the, who provides the voice of General Grievous? Matt Wood. That's you, Joseph. Oh, excuse me. Yes. Uh, Matthew Wood. For three points. <laughs> All right, now we get to... Alex Damon has to hit his two-pointer here. That's right, Alex, your two-pointer, you selected number three, and that corresponds to the greatest film in the Star Wars franchise. Excuse me, it might not. I don't know what the dad did to my computer. Okay, well, I, I totally misspoke because it corresponds to Attack of the Clones, which is in fact not the best movie <laughs> in the Star Wars universe. I liked when the Muppet had the lightsaber, though. Uh, Alex, your question for two points and to regain the lead over Joseph. Who played Django Fett? Tamir Morrison. Morrison. Yes, All right, so Good now course. it bounces back to Joseph Scrimshaw. And his category is five pointer is number 18. Number 18, if you hit this, it bounces back to Alex Damon. However, if you miss it, Alex Damon retains the Star Wars championship. Here is the five pointer. What kind of poisonous creatures were used to try and assassinate oh. mm. those worms? In Attack of the Clones. I forgot those worms. The Hoons. Five points for Joseph Scrimshaw. <laughs> Ultimately forcing Damon to have to hit his five, but he's going to hit the three. He's got to hit the three. All right. So Alex Damon going to get uh, kind of a practice one for points if you're keeping score at home. Uh, you selected category number two, and that corresponds to vehicles, weapons, and technology. Nerd alert. Your question, Alex. For three points. The resistance is forced to use what type of beat-up ships to fight the approaching first order? Oh. Space beaters. Yes, they are. For three, three points. points. All right. So it's come down to this. If Alex Damon hits the five-pointer, he retains the title. However, <laughs> what I got that misses, wrong. Joseph Scrimshaw will be the new champion. All right. So happy this is not going into overtime. <sighs> All right, Alex, for 
five points to retain the belt to defeat your mortal enemy, Joseph Scrimshaw. <laughs> your question comes, you selected category number seven, and that corresponds to the world of Solo, a Star Wars story. For five points and a free Grand Slam at Denny's, <laughs> your question is, what kind of speeder did Han steal on Corellia that he used mm. for his escape? Land speeder? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know the name of it. M68. Nice, right? And your winner, and still, Star Wars Movie Trivia Smart, Champion of the World, Alex the Demon Damon. The kid has done it again. Alex Damon defends the title. There Pretty good. Pretty good. Well, that was fun. Are there, I'm sure there are more, right? I kind of want to keep going here. Maybe one that's not a championship would be good. Let's try this one. A&W's Cod Burger's back. Fish. Real fish. It's really good. <laughs> try our Wild Cod Cod Burger. God damn it, I'm not getting paid for these ads! Get out of here! Oh. Let's fast forward here. Full pilot sees the Death Star and exclaims, look at the size of that thing! I mean, I see that he looks like all part of it. Know it. See, yeah, they're all riding right away. I, I mean, I think. All right, let's. I think it's a pretty good. Like uh, to get the idea. reveal from Sam Whitmer, please. Sam answers correctly with. Wedge and Tilly's. Tilly's. Oh, John incorrectly. Freddie. Wedge it up, baby. Wedge it up. Oh, so there you go. So, uh, so Force Bros. Two points, and you have. Uh, no, I've only seen that movie like three one. times. Your second question in the category of the Clone Wars movie, which is I know your favorite out of all Star Wars movies. What is the name of the hut that conspires with Count Dooku in the Clone Wars film? Gardula okay. the Hut. I don't know. Enough, it looks like, they it really looks like people are actually they, writing yeah. a question uh, and answer down. All right. Again, Sam, please reveal oh, your answer. Sorry. Zero the Hut is Zero correct. Zero the Hut is correct. Mm. Zero is correct. Zero to his uh, incorrectly, but we'll still, we'll, for John, but we'll still give it to you. I can't uh, spell the word. All right. <laughs> so all four got Pizza that Pizza the there Hut. You go. So, so now you have Force Bros. Four and three points for the council. All right, going okay. back now to the original trilogy, we're hitting Return of the Jedi. Which one is that? <laughs> that it would be the episode six. Oh, okay. Return of the Jedi. Who does Admiral Akbar turn the presentation over to as the rebels prepare their Death Star assault? Sam Witwer was already writing his answer down before mm -hmm. he even finished. When I said Return of the Jedi, he started. Yeah, he knew. Shut up, I can't think. <laughs> Freddie Prince Jr. turning heel very quick. All right. <laughs> Looks All right. like we As got I it. I know it All is. Right. I just can't think of it. Let's the name. get the reveal from Sam. All right. I'm writing something else. Correct. General, General Maydean is correct. Yeah. Correct. And John is General Maydean. That was the name, but I couldn't get it right. On Mothma. Uh, Rick's Maydean. Ken Knapps, like with a full name. <laughs> what did you write there? Did you middle Rick's name? Rick's All right. So then we're tied first up here. <laughs> the third. <laughs> All right. And we're going back to the prequels in Attack of the Clones. How many arms does Dexter Jetster have. I guess again, just to see their thinking here. It looks there we go. Where they are writing. Sam, we're the first one. To be Five, was it four or six? All right, Sam, please reveal. It was four. Four, is correct. four arms yeah. is correct. Four, four is, correct. is correct. Six is better than four. Everybody <laughs> 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 has uh, two, Kenny, two men. Kenny hits it with four. All right. And the council takes the lead. You guys sound too pleased about that. <laughs> <laughs> Real pleased. All right, we're going. Now we're, we're sticking with the prequels here and going into the Phantom Menace. Who tells Qui-Gon, you Jedi are far too reckless? Can't be guys already writing. Can't be writing Sam already. Writing Sam has not missed. And Ken looks Boss like a really Nass. Nice All right, here we go. Can I need that reveal? Sam, please reveal. Padme, Padme. is correct. Right. Okay. correct. Padme Padme can't stop writing. Uh, correct for Mine Padme. was taking too long. Right, it isn't right. What would you get? I was writing those Ken. two dudes with the Japanese accent. All right, so only, so only, so the, <laughs> Sam Based and Campia right. got it correct. Freddie and Ken missed it. Okay. Ken. All right. Your next question right. is from The Force Awakens. 
Wait, Gentlemen, what? Force, Force Awakens, Awakens is Force your Awakens. Next Awakens. question. The Which flaw. system that is home to the New Republic is destroyed by Star Killer Base? Man, see, it looks, it just it looks like that, that test you go in there and then you have to study for like days upon end. This All right, here, right. here we go, Sam. Sam, once again, perfect yep, there. He is correct. Hosni and Hosni is correct. The only Fred, thing I can think of was the plan. I think it was like Acnon or something like Freddy that. Freddie misses it. Okay. it and Ken gets it. Ken okay. Gets it. So Jedi counts. Well, Jedi starting to take Alan a little Aldo bit of a systems. lead here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I saw it once with my kids. Yeah. <laughs> That's all you got. All right. So after the Force right, Awakens question, it, it is 10 8. All right. Now we move to Revenge of the Sith. Yeah. Oh. Who escapes Obi Wan and Anakin by throwing an electro staff through the window? Grievous. Repeat the question. I didn't hear the yes, first Yes, sir. One. Who escapes Obi-Wan and Anakin by throwing an electric staff through the window? And we were, of course, is frantically scribbling his answer. Let's see it. There's no frantic about it. Yeah, that's, that's right. correct. There's nothing no frantic. frantic. He got it right. Correct. Freddy? So did Was John. it that bounty hunter? Because I couldn't remember the name, so I just wrote more. Nope. Uh, Gre <laughs> General General Grievous is correct. All oh, right, Grievous. so now we got Grievous. twelve. Maul wasn't even well, in episode nine. three. Twelve nine. As we get to the last question in round one. All right, guys. From Empire Strikes Back, what is the missing word in the line? Why you slimy double crossing no, no good. No good. Blank. Uh, scruffy looking nerf herder. Scruffy looking nerf herder. A little stump there for a second. Looks like he got it. Sam, once again. Sam, turn it, please. You can turn. All right. Here. Sam, we can see the answer. And, and here we go. Oh. Sam, please reveal. Oh. Yep. Sure, sure. Correct. Swindler Perfect. Is Perfect correct. round Swindler. one for Sam. Nerf herder. Scoundrel. <laughs> Scoundrel. Swindler is correct. Swindler John Campion. So, so Sam. Uh, what? Right, what's the score there now? Because Campion missed. Yeah. Well, Campion missed. So Campion got it wrong. Yeah, Campion yeah, we got, got it wrong. We had 12, so now we have 13. There you go. Is that right? Yeah. So 13, yeah. 10, yeah, I want to recount. Everyone wants to recount these days, right? 13-11, no? isn't it? Because Freddie got that one right. Yeah, they both got it. We were ahead by three, weren't we? Yeah, Going into and Freddie, Freddie got it right. So now we're ahead by two. Right, so it's 13-11. Yeah, yeah, that sounds right. Okay. All right, so after that round, it is 13-11. The council is leading, but that was, I mean, right right now, the star of that round, absolutely, Sam Whitwer did not miss a of single question. Of course he question. didn't miss. If I wasn't here, he'd be killing. I didn't even think <laughs> I'd have to answer a question. All right, it's time for round number two. The lovely okay. and talented Josh McCuga will bring out the wheel. There Was it a Swindler or a Scoundrel? I'm a little disappointed that there's not a loud suit that is Star Wars themed, but thanks <laughs> for playing, Josh. Yeah, what, ha what happened to the fantastically horrible suits that I'm accustomed to seeing you wearing? I thought I'd do my vest and uh, show up with Oh, the so instead <laughs> of bad fashion. So here's how round number two is going to work. Cheap. So each team will get two spins of the wheel. Each, the, each team will get four questions per spin of the wheel. If they choose to keep the question as is and answer it, it's worth two points. If they choose to go to multiple choice, it's worth one point. The teams can steal if the other team misses. If you don't like the category that you get on your first spin, you can choose to spin again. Council, you guys are, are in the lead, first or second? We're gonna go first. We'll go first, all right. Give it a spin, John. There's the- Whoa, 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 whoa. What's going on? Whoa! Landing What's going on? on? Vehicles and weapons. We're gonna vehicles. spin that thing You're again. You're gonna spin it again. All right, they don't want vehicles and weapons. All right, there's the spin. You have to take it on this one. Landing on- Gulag. Opponent's choice? Oh. Looks like a Oh. Right to the heart. Right now this is it. this is a big one because that can get the Force Brothers right, right back, back in this thing. Yeah. Uh, but do you know? Because the they can confer here. Oh yeah. And you know Sam Whitworth mm -hmm. is chomping at the bit Nothing here. Nah, yeah, yeah, All right, right guys, let's go. Right. What, right. what should they go for? Let's, let's, you're right. Your first instinct was right. I, yeah. Once they showed fear in weapons and vehicles, I going to weapons and vehicles. That's what you deserve. That's All right. They're going to weapons and vehicles. Fear. Okay, so vehicles and weapons. Mark Riley, please go ahead. All right, gentlemen. The first question from vehicles and weapons. What class of speeder does Luke claim he used to bullseye womp rats in? They will have 15 seconds yeah. to answer the question. What was the question? 16 Skyhopper. That is correct. He wow, didn't even get 15 it. seconds. <laughs> wow. Big one That's there. Big. Kenny See, showing up. You, you don't believe in your teammate, bro? All right. Do you not go. believe in him? He got that like that. Now, you didn't know Sith, it. That's some Sith stuff. But you stuff. knew it. 
And he doesn't believe Freddy that. Freddy has gone stop. to the dark That's side since yeah. his last match. Well, they might uh, need it to get past these guys. All right, your second go. question. According to Obi-Wan, a lightsaber is not as clumsy or blank Rambins. as a blaster. So we're conferring. And yep. we're go ahead. Uncivilized. That's incorrect. That is can we incorrect. steal that? You can't. Random. That is correct. That is correct oh, for the steal. Is it random or rambins? Everybody on Twitter. Yeah. And how scary and goody. I'm trying <laughs> I guess to random. You, now you're going to feel the dark side through these cameras, and Sam's going to kill everyone. <laughs> <laughs> All right, question number three. No one's leaving alive. <laughs> All right, guys. What is the name of the first ship we see in Star Wars A New Hope? 10 C4. Ken is looking yeah. at his partner. He yeah. is conferring. Block runner, 10 T4. Corillian Corvette, the 10 of 4, or the blockade runner? Those are all correct. <laughs> <laughs> right on, man. That was good. Very thorough. Well, yeah. done. well done. Well done. Making sure so he got Ken it. So Ken is the strength. He's the Sam Witwer of that team. <laughs> yeah. We've established that. Well, right, and yeah. it's interesting because Campia talked more smack. Isn't yeah. It? Uh -oh. hey, I just gave him the weird. answer. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Last, last question in this category. All right. What word? Does Ray use to describe the dusty old Millennium Falcon in The Force Awakens? Hunk of junk. Again, and again. again. Are they going to be able to hit it? Piece of junk. Whatever junk. Five. Can we go multiple choice? Four, you can. Well, then we're gonna. All right. All right. They are taking multiple choice. Is it A. Junk, B. Trash, C. Oh. Scrap metal, or D. Garbage? Yeah. D, garbage. Correct that for is one correct. point. One point there. All right. Kunto. It is 1813 now as the Force mm. Bros will spin for their category. All right. I there will not go. cheat like John. I'll hold it <laughs> at the and back. And just to make clear, because you, you guys screamed at me last time you were here for this, if it lands on vehicles and weapons, that category is no longer available, so you will get an extra spin. It's, not, it's off the table now. Fantastic. Huh. Huh. That's, that's the Freddy rule. That the is Freddy the Freddy rule. hosed in the last <laughs> Correct. Here we go. All right, good spin there. there. Freddy has a better spin. Uh, and I watched the price of this. Return of the Jedi. Return of stay, the Jedi. Stay with Return of the Jedi? Sure. All right, yeah. you're staying with Return of the Jedi. <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to kick Don't my feet difference. up and get a margarita, man. All right, here we go. Good spin. Return of the Jedi. Who steps on a twig, giving away the surprise ambush of the biker scouts on Endor? You want the turn of the yeah. <laughs> I think Han Solo. Scout that's oh, correct. For two go. points. Sure. What? Look at that. <laughs> Whitwer is. Oh, a tight steps on a twig. Oh, he yeah, has right. not missed one, it seems like. He is, I don't think he has missed a single question. All right, you guys will go. be having Sam write the questions for the next one. <laughs> I think he did write these questions. In this <laughs> two <laughs> hours of this story. Hour, hour and a half of this story. Star, two hours. The watching. The what? Start over, please. Excuse me. In the assault on the second Death Star, the Rebel Squadron consists of four color designs red, gray, Green and which other color? I'm not even paying attention anymore, dude. <laughs> like, it was like four episodes of. Let's pause this and I'm gonna save it for next time. Whew, it's quite a bit. Um, let's come on with you guys. You guys arguing again? Read my super chat. Kansas Beef Studios. No, man. Your super chats are all, always weird now. I'm not reading them anymore. About your bodily functions. No one wants to hear about that. Blue gold. <laughs> um, you guys down to game in a little bit? So what is it? 7.05? 7.05 right now. So I'm going to get some food. Uh, maybe take my dog for another walk, and then I could come back tonight and try to stream or something. It'd be fun. I don't know, maybe play some Old Republic. And yeah, we'll see how it goes. Thanks for joining, guys. I thought this would be a fun little video, kind of different. Um, Christian hit me up, and he's like, yo, would you want to be on the on the show? And I was like, I think I would get decimated, like, just diced. And he's like, oh, let me know. I was like, okay. So, I think I'd do, like, in the middle, you know? I don't think I'd win. I'd obviously lose, but I think I'd get like, eh, maybe the mean of everyone, the majority of people. Yeah, I don't think I'd do too bad, but going in this fresh, yeah. If I studied and rewatched all the movies, I think I'd do much better, but it's fun. Anyways, uh, catch you guys later. Thanks for hanging out.